This one has been long overdue because I've been using this pedal for about 6 or 7 months ever since I sold my Strymon Volante. And while the Volante and the Mockingbird are as different as two delay pedals can be, I can safely say after all this time that uh, I haven't missed that pedal. Of course, uh, during this time I have also got into some real tape delays which uh, I try to have here in the studio. But uh, as far as delay pedals go, the Mockingbird has covered all my needs. At its core, it is a digital delay with a lo-fi voicing, which can get really extreme when you get past 12 o'clock on the time knob. <laughs> a modulation on board and the combination of the whole switch alongside with the time, the feedback and the tone knob can get you some pretty crazy sounds pretty quickly. While it doesn't have the options that the other two have, it uh, was refreshing to have a pedal that uh, all you wanted to tweak uh, is on the surface and there are no presets or stuff that, like that. The only drawback for my use uh, is the lack uh, of a tap tempo, which is something that I have grown very accustomed to. But I found kind of a manual way to overcome this by using a big knob on the time pot. All in all, I've had a great time with this pedal over the past few months and still have. And uh, in general, it is a voice that I will keep uh, on my pedal board uh, or uh, very close to it. That's all for today. My name is Dalam. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.